My name is Moira Jeffrey. I'm a journalist. I write specifically about the visual arts and I am passionately attached to Glasgow, the city where I live, um, and which is very important in the contemporary art scene. The thing I think that's unique about Glasgow International Festival is this notion of festival. It's not a big sprawling biennale. It's not a single hit exhibition. It's a kind of moment in time, a snapshot for more than 50 organisations within the city and I think over 130 artists present their work in a kind of intense period, just over two weeks. And it brings together major international public commissions with what Glasgow also specialises in, this kind of artist-led community. Over the next few days, I'm going to find myself everywhere from a tiny tenement flat to um, a big public space like Glasgow Green and a number of major museums. This is a city that produces world-class work. The prominent artists who, who've emerged from this city operate really on a global level. They have international galleries, show in international museums. The festival does two things. It, it brings those people back to the city, but it also invites international audiences in. There's a number of absolutely unmissable projects that are, are at the core of this festival. Down on Glasgow Green, a very important public space in the city, a space that was created as a kind of green lung um, during the Victorian industrial period. The artist Jeremy Deller has created an amazing piece of work. It's called Sacrilege. It is, I think, the biggest or, or almost the biggest bouncy castle ever made. And it is a full-size reconstruction of Stonehenge. Now, Stonehenge, which is a very, very important cultural landmark in this country, is in many ways a kind of spectacle, a closed off space. But it started as a social space, a ceremonial space. And Jeremy's work, which invites the public simply to get into Stonehenge, to jump on it, to, to interact with it, um, I think opens up the notion of, of heritage becoming once more social. It's a project that's been launched here, but it also will be shown um, throughout the Olympics. It's going to be in London and other parts of the UK. And I think it's really about kind of opening up the question of history, who owns it, um, and it explodes a kind of po-facedness or, or an awe in front of history. It says that history is something that we can all become involved in. I, I think another absolutely key work in, in this year's GI it is two sculptural pieces by Carla Black, um, Glasgow-based sculptor who um, represented Scotland at the Venice Biennale last year. She's placed in the Gallery of Modern Art, which is an extraordinary Victorian building. Its ground floor hall is Corinthian Palace with very, very ornate plaster work, huge pillars. And she has placed, I think, almost 20 tonnes of wood shavings within this space. She's created a kind of vast layered landscape from pine and teak. It looks at first almost like a, a, a beach, but I think you suddenly become very aware quite what a volatile thing wood shavings are. You're suddenly in the presence of kind of huge energy. And I think that kind of reflects the energy in the city and the energy in this moment.